Season 4 is right around the corner and 2K decided to drop a Thanos patch and patch up 90% of the 2K community. Yes, 90%. By patching Magic Johnson dribble style. Little did they know that that's not even the worst cheesiest dribble style. If that Magic Johnson dribble style made you sick, Devin Booker dribble style are gonna run your belly. Remember me tell you that first. Yo, Chubb! Wow, God, everybody, y'all man gaming here. We're back with a new video. You know, y'all man gaming never needed a Magic Johnson dribble style. We don't even use it other than like the first month of 2K being out on my 6 8 build. Then I seen everybody use that guy to offer that wave real quick, and I'm in my own lane when it comes to the dribble stuff. Now, we know Tyrese Halliburton Sigs will be the one released for season four based off the pattern they've been showing. And I'll show you one of his moves is elite. Devin Booker dribble style is about to run on a belly. Translation, you're gonna need that Pepto Bismol when that Devin Booker come up because I'm telling you, if you thought Magic Johnson was cheesy before the patch, I'm telling you right now, Devin Booker is on some different stuff. And I've known this since literally day one. Well, let me say before day one because every year before the game comes out, I take notes of what has not been released in the animation store. All right, I take them, I jot them down. Also, I take what's the fastest drip moves, what the fastest everything, what's the fastest jump shots, etc. Jot well, them down. No, Look at this wait, nonsense, bro. bro. I'm well, walking no on 2K, just tech with my clothes, bro. They know I'm up to some cheese right now. They know it. No, like I said, before the game, before a lot of y'all even got the game, because you know 2K does supply the, the brethren, Yardman Gibbon, with the game for the last couple of years before launch. Which is, I'm not a next maker, but I am, you know, proud to say that, you know, I do get some, some recognition from 2K and we're moving up on in life. We're about to hit 200,000 subscribers, but I'm making this video to spread awareness because I'm not going to be somebody just like trying to gatekeep stuff. I'm spreading awareness because a lot of people are gatekeeping this because they don't want it to be patched. I don't care if it's patched because I don't use it. All right. And if the big builds there meet their end, I don't care because I can use small guards and I can use big guards. But I need to address this. If you thought Magic Johnson was really a problem, which I believe it was because you literally, like you before the patch, you could not bump it like that. You had to play a certain side. But if you had, if you ran into somebody that can dribble like me, that can hezzy boost, can hop glitch, like it doesn't matter what side you guard, they can get off that Magic Johnson speed boost on um, misdirection <laughs> anytime they want it. And you see the problem with Devin Booker compared to Magic Johnson is Magic Johnson immediately once you used to do it before the patch, it would all, it would make you forcefully take at least three, four steps. With Devin Booker, you can stop it on the first bounce. Like you can stop the, the misdirection on the first bounce. And also Devin Booker also gets a better same side boost that's usable. The same side boost that you get with Devin Booker dribble style is literally the same as Allen Iverson. Now think about that. It's literally like the same speed almost as, as Allen Iverson, if not identical. That's going to be a problem. Imagine a 6'8 build, or let me say a 6'5, 6 6'7 uh, 6 build, because I don't even think, I don't even remember if 6'8s can get an 85 speed with bar, and I have a lot of them. But I do know a 6'7 can because I have a 6'7 big man with an 85 speed with ball. Yes, a big man. You can make some crazy builds now. In this section of the video, we're going to be talking about season four six. Season four six is going to be everything Halliburton. Now, Halliburton's jump shot release is literally something that I used last year for a majority of the year. Me and my brother Caillou was in the comp stage with it every single day. Last year, he had one of the best speeds, immunity and all that stuff grade wise. And it was just one of the easiest cues to time. I ended up switching from it at the end of the year, but trust me, I'm probably going to rock it. I'm going to rock it for the rest of this year, most likely. Don't quote me on that. But what I'm here to show you is Tyrese Halliburton's behind the back. To me, nothing else matters because his fade is rubbish. His jump shot base is rubbish. His release is good, but I don't use his crossover or anything like that because to me, J John Wall or Kobe Bryant's always going to be better crossover. Um, right here on the screen, you're seeing me mess with Devin Booker Sigs like his dribble style and stuff, but I'm really going to show you right now Tyrese Halliburton's behind the back and what you can do with it. I'm probably going to drop a tutorial on how to use it when it comes out because it's going to be the best behind the back in the game. I'm telling you right now, it's kind of like the cheesiest behind the back in the game when it comes to speed wise and how much space it can create because you can L2 cancel out of this and you can spam it left and right, left and right, left and right. And when you put that Devin Booker dribble style with it, when you do the misdirection and you L2 cancel and you do a Tyrese Halliburton behind the back out of it, you can left stick cancel and keep that 
chain going just throwing the rock like 2k20 behind the back so this is going to be the closest thing to 2k20 behind the back but just a baby version let me show you guys how it looks right now though all right now obviously i like to dribble i just don't like to come out here and show you guys the the move by itself right but you see me I already dropped a tour on how to do the left stick cancel l2 cancel all that stuff now obviously you know anytime you have my game and goes in the lab i like to warm up my dribble moves first but you'll see the behind the back right there the behind the back is <laughs> watch this boom boom that is some cheese right there and i left stick cancel to get that animation right there it's going to be the best behind the back in the game you're going to see a lot of people rocking this but let me tell you something right now based off my scientific research upon nba 2k24 it's going to require a 90 ball handle to get this behind the back so if you have a tall build that does not have a 90 ball handle you're not going to be able to get this now obviously there's been times where in the in the 2ku freestyle where you've seen that certain animations um, are no longer available if you drop the the rating that you have for the certain animation and then 2k will come out and make it the animation even less um, of a requirement to get so i'm just telling you based off my research right now it's going to require a 90 ball handle for that tyrese halliburton behind the back all right i'm going to be rocking it on all my bills that i can get it on that's going to be the best thing out there to use behind the back wise murray is good for l2 cancels and getting that shot off but a good defender is going to be able to contest that when they jump because it is very slow compared to halliburton halliburton is literally you hit that move one time and they're not they don't have their hands up it gives you enough space off that walk that he does that little sidestep it gives you enough space to literally get the shot off in time. And do you also see that I'm using Donovan Mitchell's size up, which is going to be one of the best size ups for big builds. I believe it will be the best size up for big builds when it comes out. Because every year Donovan Mitchell's size up is one of the six, very few guard six that you're able to use on a big build. So if you're not happy with season four sigs and jump shots and all that stuff, don't worry because this right here will be anybody that doesn't have a nine to five ball handle but has a 92 ball handle your best size up is going to be jordan Poole. he also has a nice crossover i wouldn't recommend using his aggressive combo but i did find some cheese with it i feel like there's some cheese tied to it some stuff that's going to be good for comp meta stuff right now this is francis right here that you're seeing right and i'm about to load up the player with jordan Poole size up where the pool size up is pretty much the closest thing to Steve Francis. So it's just a tad bit slower. I'm talking about barely you can notice. And it does get a good little curry slide. Now I've already showed you guys how to get this roster. Download my roster from the L2 cancel video. It'll have everything on there. Now you see this is the um Jordan pool size up. It's going to be better than Darius Garland. It's going to be better than um Wimnim, 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 uh, D Fox. This is going to be better than D Wade. Isn't it funny that all the six that are the best size ups this year <laughs> starts with a D initial first? <laughs> 2K know what they're doing, bro. And then you have Steve Francis on top. Steve Francis is the number one. And don't get me wrong, nothing is going to compare to that. But you see, Jordan Poole has a nice little behind the back. It's not as good as Steve Francis, but it's good enough. It's definitely good enough. Now, right here, you see me use it with Kyrie dribble style just because. In order to get this, you're going to have to be 6'4 and under. If you're 6'5 and up, the chances are you're not going to get it based off last year. If you were 6'5 and up, you could not get Jordan Poole size up. So if you're 6'5 and up, you have to stick to that D-Wade. Stick to that D-Wade or wait for Donovan Mitchell to come out because Donovan Mitchell is going to be your Jordan Poole. And we know that Jordan Poole is most likely going to have a 92 requirement. But... Donovan Mitchell usually is a 85 requirement. So you should be good even on a big build like a 6'8 to get that Donovan Mitchell. And we know Devin Booker dribble style is going to be still good. They're probably not going to patch it until two, three months after it comes out. So don't worry, even a video like this will not get it patched. And you see right now, I'm hitting the Jordan Poole aggressive combo. And it's kind of like the whoopty from, from last year, but just a watered down version. I'm going to see if that can get bumped or ripped. If it can't, we just found a whoopty in this video. Make sure you come back and check up why if they say oh we just found a whoopty no y'all man give me found a whoopty all right <laughs> we always want to find something right this is his crossover his crossover is neat i would have rather i'm not gonna say that because right now that behind the back is gonna add an element of fun to the game and you know fun gap is the skill gap shout out to my brother swante preaching fun gap is skill gap 
And we got a fun gap when it comes to this Halliburton behind the back because it's the best one. And I do like Devin Booker dribble style, but the way I know you guys are going to use it, I'm, I'm not saying you guys as a GVO family because I know the GVO family, a lot of y'all don't play like that. But for the people that's just spamming misdirections, you see I'm spamming the behind the back right there. I'm talking about spamming. You can spam this, right? But it's not cheesy to where you're going to spam it and people can't stop it, bro. You can stop it. That Devin Booker misdirection is going to be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now. Because it gives you an angle where it's hard to bump. And if you try to bump it and stop it, you're going to set up the other side so wide open for a hezy boost. It's not even going to be funny. And what makes it so dangerous is the fact that that Devin Booker dribble style, you can L2 cancel. So if you see them over there trying to stop it, you L2 cancel and go back the other way. And then you shoot the fade. That's what you're going to see a lot of people doing. So I'm just showing you guys what to expect. Because yes, they might have patched up Magic Johnson, but they patched up the wrong one. Magic was not the most overpowered one. Big up on yourself, big up on the mighty. Do you want to know anything already? But I'm glad that it's patched as well. We're gone.